Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my channel. Today let's talk about panel designing. One of my subscribers requested me how to design electrical panels. There's many type of electrical panels available in the market and available in the system. So some I have type here, some is a DB schedule, DB, distribution board, SMDB, sub main distribution board, MDB main distribution board, LV panel, HV panel, MCC panel and DDC panel. So these panels uh, doesn't have any fixed size. Okay, this size can be various. It will be changed as per the customer requirement. So how the customer requirement will be, we will know. Let's say you are working in the DB manufacturing company or panel, panel manufacturing company. So these thing you will know from the customer from their single line diagram. So in my previous video I teach you how to make single line diagram something like this. So in the single line diagram it's available what is incoming cable, incoming breaker and then the bus bar. Okay. See this one 25 kilo I think yeah this one bus bar breaker size and then the require breaker with a special so you know TP is a triple pole TP and triple pole neutral there's ST sand trip so this is specialized breaker so as per this one the panel size can be changed so what are the requirement to design a panel the first thing you need correct updated validated single line diagram or DB schedule and the second you need what are the additional requirement it should be off in the fire game or sand trip blah 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 item the third thing you need mounting type it is a flash mounted or wall mounted so as per this one also panel can be changed then the incoming and outgoing so incoming breaker outgoing break uh, breakers sorry incoming cable and outgoing outgoing cable so you can check this one in the sld so this one will be decided in the panel entry top or bottom entry and you need to know the breaker size let's say in the sld diagram you have 63 ampere so you have to check the breaker size 63 ampere breaker or tp breaker or tpn breaker or tp breaker with sentry what is the dimension so you will arrange the breaker how you are going to arrange so when you arrange the breakers you will know what size of enclosure you have to choose then you will choose the enclosure that's all the panel is ready so let's say this is the breaker for breaker so I have arranged one two three breaker if I measure this one I will know what enclosure size I need so this is one of arrangement one two three four five so this is a bus bar and this is the incoming breaker and this is the earth bar and this is the neutral bar this is normally in the DB breaker normal distribution board will be look like uh, this so let's go to the Google so I have some here I check here something I will show you okay you see here this is the breaker and how this is connected to the bus bar this is bus bar red yellow blue and this is the main breaker incoming bacon and this is neutral point and earth point they put it beside here something like this arrangement okay so as per that one panel can be changed so I have downloaded one catalog this is from the ABB manufacturing company they have mentioned here the enclosure size what they have so you will choose from the catalog one of size and you will arrange the breaker so if you go to the Google again there is something you have to uh, know you see here this backside uh, 
this one small bar this is holding the breaker this one uh, I don't know the correct name of that one uh, DB distribution board spare switch board spare parts okay this is what I want mm -hmm. so if you go to the image you see these items so that this one something like this cable management item something like that the breaker holder I think DB breaker holder let's type holder this one rail mount what is this called rail mount yeah let's type rail mount yeah it's here already this one fuse holder circuit breaker so first this one so this one you know to know dimension so fuels holder let's type same fuse holder diamonds yeah so you can see this one another issue we have this one will be as per the breaker can be changed smaller or bigger so we cannot take the size directly here we can take size from here okay so what you will do first uh, you will check the breaker what type of breaker and you will go to the company which company is manufacturing that one ABB or Eaton or Snyder and you will select the breaker so what you will have you will have the breaker with the catalog the dimension and the holder back dimension everything as per that one you will select the fuse holder and you will arrange something like this so let's say this is a fuse holder or this way or that way any way you have to arrange example like this okay this way or other way so you will arrange the breaker something like this as per the SLD and then you know the bus bar you can decide the distance so better you will keep minimum 50 mm this much gap 5 cm between bus bar it's better so you will bend it then every 50 50 50 50 something and if you have more breaker and you will arrange the breaker as per the fuse connection like this breaker and you will put the incoming breaker this everything you have to check the catalog first as per the SLD single line diagram you will select the breaker and you have to arrange like a drawing like this it's not complicated just enclosure size you can select from the first you have to arrange the breaker with the cable management, bus power, point, everything as you want. You can design even for the 2 meter or 20 meters, depend on you. Then you will select the enclosure. So enclosure, it's not only this one, this is for the distribution board. There is an enclosure called 2 meter high, 2 meter, uh, 10 meter width. It depends how you choose. This is as per the requirement, how you want. You can arrange, just imagine okay then uh, that's all you have to do there's nothing big deal so everything if you have these items very clear you can go with the manufacturer and select the panel and closer select the breaker arrange it that's all so if I want to arrange for this one let's say let's say with this one okay let's design this one 
so one I need 60, 630 ampere TP MCCB so I will go here let's go with the 63 ampere uh, TPN MCCB Snyder okay now I cannot choose here I will go to this dimension okay let's check the dimension okay I have here so this is the dimension so it's almost 75 115 so I can go with uh, here 130 81 okay uh, you can go with the catalog just I am selecting the so let's make enter 181 comma 131 so this is my main breaker okay so let's check this one I will go with the one breaker Oh, this is 630 63 I should I should so 630 okay I will go with the 63 all I will select 63 now I will go with the 630 so 630 MPR TP and MCB okay this is I need so this is the dimension Okay, now I have to visit the catalog. So let's go all. So they have mentioned here 630 TP and MCB Snyder dimension. I can use this one. This I want to show the example. You can go with the catalog. So 215, 161, 86. Okay weight 3.2 kilogram only that particular breaker okay let's come here okay I will put in the text here REC at 215 comma 161 so this is the main incoming breaker let's rotate I think height is 250 so this one will become like this okay so let's keep this one here so I need breaker this one will be in this arrangement so how many breaker I need let's oh, consider all 63 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so I need 14 so I will go 7 plus 7 I think like that is better so copy array I will go with 7 so maybe like this I can arrange this one little bit here so let's go up so I need another 7 up I have to keep more distance because I have to take some wiring so it will be a key for the cable management 